September of 2020 brought our fourth attempt to push lower Stream 1. We hoped to have very low water conditions, but nothing is ever easy in Stream 1, and we found the water only slightly lower than in July. Trips to this part of the cave require exceptional outfitting. It's hard to stay warm after being nearly continuously inundated with frigid snowmelt water. The slightest malfunction can result in a trip cut short and a race for the surface. Upper Stream 1, the part above the crossover to Stream 2, features tall canyon passage. With a little work, it's possible to stay semi-dry and only receive spray. Below the crossover, the passage becomes small and the stream more intense. Wearing a heavyweight wetsuit under the cave suit becomes the method of choice. This is the parting shores, the bottom of stream 1. We hoped lower water levels would reveal some kind of option, but there was nothing. Here the stream turns left and flows across the face of a bedding plain party, a thin horizontal fissure. The water disappears into many small spaces, none of which will allow a human to pass. Here Hannah is crawling back out to the streamway after we completed the survey of the lead station in lead left down there, but it will require digging.